What is up everyone? I am the winner and welcome to our game room. Today we're going to take a look at the game that came in ranked 13th in my top 123 games of all time. Uh, today's game is the little brother to the big brother that was number one on Board Game Geek for a long, long time until Brass Burnian took it over. Uh, and that game is Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Now, I've never actually played the big box version of Gloomhaven, and I was always kind of, like, hesitant, because I heard, oh my gosh, it's such a great game, such a great game, and I was like, I don't know, it's a, it's a scenario campaign game, and I don't know if I'll be able to play it, and 140 bucks is a lot to drop down on a game that you don't know if you're going to play. A few years later, the, there was an announcement that they were bringing out Jaws of the Lion. It was going to come out as a Target exclusive. Target exclusive. Did you hear that? Target exclusive. That's awesome. So I obviously had to have it. Like, I, I wanted to play it. It's a smaller box version. I think this one has 24 scenario or campaign scenarios in it, whereas the big box version had like 100. So I figured this was a great jumping off point. And if you have not played Gloomhaven and you have interest in it, this not only is a lower priced entry, this also has an amazing five game, like basically introduction that Rodney from Watch It Played, who's, you definitely got to watch his videos, he's awesome. Uh, he did like a how to play for this and it kind of teaches you the game in increments. And then once you're done with the fifth game, you know how to play Gloomhaven. It's awesome. Uh, me and my wife started playing through this and we got a, you know, a good amount through and then we wanted to restart to, to have my son join in. We played some, we started it, and then we ended up losing track of time and we just haven't had a chance to get back to it. So I have a feeling that when we do get back to it, we're going to have to start again, which that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, this one, I really want to play all the way through it uh, because for Christmas, my wife got me Frosthaven which is a monster. <laughs> uh, I still have the box sitting over there. It's another one of those, hey, it's going to take you three hours to punch and sort and get it all together and sleeve. And and I look forward to that, but I really want to play through this one first because once I get this played through, it'll cut the 80-page rule book of Frosthaven in half, hopefully. So that way it'll be a little easier to jump into that one. But man, Jaws of the Lion is like a fantasy you're going around and doing different things and you're in the town of Gloomhaven trying to do whatever that like the first the first scenario you're trying to get out raiders or like verm hireling raiders out of a mine or something uh then as the game progresses you level up and you gain you get money and then you can buy more items and make your character stronger and give them more abilities and man the way the cards work you pick two cards out of your hand and you One, you're going to use the top ability. The other one, you're going to use the bottom. And there's a number. And the number determines the, the, initiate, the order in which players play for the round. So, like, it's really crazy the amount of stuff that this game does. And it does it in, like, a min-maxer's dream kind of way. Uh, my only issue with the game is a little fiddly. Like, there's a lot of micromanaging you have to do. But... I, I don't mind that so much. Like, I can see people not enjoying it as much, but actually from everything I, I hear, we we didn't use it in our initial plays, but I may consider it with our restart of the uh, campaign. Uh, there's a bunch of good apps, I guess, that people have said that they it just takes all that fiddliness and micromanaging out, and the app does it for you, which is <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I, I don't have an issue with that. So... If you're looking for a very robust but easy to jump in uh, entry point to the Gloomhaven series of games, go ahead and seek Jaws of the Lion out. I, like I said, I think it's like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon at this point. I don't know if it's still in Targets. I think they, they have since pulled it. But uh, yeah, definitely give this one a look. It's definitely worth your while if you're into that dungeon crawl euro game mix uh so that was my number 13 jaws of the lion from cephalo fair games uh like i said it plays one to four 30 minutes per player it's 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 very very solid that's i can understand why it made number one on bgg's rankings uh for so long so that was my number 13 
Blue Maven draws the line. Come back tomorrow. We'll see you number 12 is in my top 100 games of all time. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep playing and keep winning.